it says breeding lust, okay? Breeding lust, the training of a mother and daughter. Based. That's a based. That's kind of based. Middle schoolers, by the way. Middle schoolers, by the way. What the hell are they reading? What, 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 what has this goddamn generation come to? Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to some more summertime render episode six. We have returned for some more time travel shenanigans. Something you might not know. For you, it might have been only a few days. For me, it's been like two weeks. That's right, I had to pre-record some of the previous episodes. It is what it is. Previously on Dragon Ball Z, episode five, Shadows Don't Leave a Body. That's right, our first shadow was killed by Nagume. Big booby woman killed a shadow. Before, of course, everything went to shit. But point is, now we know we can kill shadows, okay? But now that, you know, a shadow has been killed, that tells us that it is possible, which is very good information, especially for uh, Shinpei, who, uh, who is going back in time. We definitely got a glimpse of what will happen if... Our protagonist does not do anything. Pretty much everyone will die. Everyone will get eaten. We also got confirmation of the downside, or uh, not downside, but like weakness of the power that uh, our protagonist has, which is that every single time he goes back in time, every single time he dies and goes back in time, he wakes up a little bit closer to the festival time, to the time of the festival. Right, 15 minutes, I believe, every single time. Or at least that's what he said after thinking about it. So, I mean, I guess we'll see. I guess we shall see. Hmm? <coughs> what? Ooh. Well, okay, immediately a couple of things. It's been, like, less than a minute, okay? First things first, she did mention, I believe in the last episode as well, that she got a message, and it took her a long time to believe that message. Which, I mean, begs the question, right? Who sent a message to her? I would imagine, potentially, it could be that she herself sent herself a message into the past, or Shinpei at some point somehow sends a message back into the past. Also interesting how she was just able to tell that that guy's a shadow. But good to know. <laughs> hmm? That time that we just saw him wake up? That was like the second time, right? The first time he died, he woke up on the boat. Again. The second time he died, he woke up on the, uh, on the, on the pier already. So this is after the, having died the second time, when, when he got stabbed after, uh, seeing Shadow Mio kill the police officer, right? So this is, this is... So I guess we're seeing what he, what she was doing this whole time. Is this is this the same timeline? I don't even remember anymore. Is this the same timeline where they got to the festival and everything went to shit last episode? Is this the same timeline? Did he die after that? No, no, no. He woke up after the festival situation. He woke up in the middle of walking with Mio after they had already crashed into the into the pier. Which means that this is in that timeline of uh, of of the festival. Or when when that happened. I guess we're just seeing her her point of view of what happened. やっぱりそうや。
14年になるな影を踏んでも平気もうそんなに経ちますかこいつは影じゃない帰ってきたわけとちゃうんでしょうああ今東京でおっと待って当てさせてひずるちゃん頭良かったさけきっと先生が弁護士さんかふつふつ思い出してきたぞもしかしてお医者さん私はお前のことが生理的に無理だったそして現在進行形で無理だ<笑>またまた嘘ばっかり遺憾ながら真実だご無沙汰だなあら中学2年の時私は養殖小船の常連だったアランには2人の娘がいた牛尾とミオアランの奥さんはミオを産んですぐに亡くなったミオが働いている間客たちが子供の面倒を見ていた It seems like maybe maybe she she did talk about a sister and it is possible maybe that the sister was the、uh, the person who created the the novel The sister is actually the novelist, but she like took her sister's name, maybe, or something? I don't know. Wait, whoa, 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 what? What was that? What was that? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. <coughs> maybe it's. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's good that it's slightly cut off、uh, that you guys can see. <laughs> uh, I mean, okay, fine, fine. It says breeding lust, okay? Breeding lust, the training of a mother and daughter. Based. That's a based. That's kind of based. Anyway, anyway, anyway let, let, let's move on. Let's, let's move on. Middle schoolers, by the way. Middle schoolers, by the way. What the hell are they reading? What, 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 what has this goddamn generation come to? Jesus. Cheese and crackers, as they say. どうしましたミオとシンペイが海に落ちたってちょっと遅れるらしいですわあれ大変やほなちょっと待とかアラン今のシンペイというのはああヒズルはもう島は出とった酒知らんわな私の親友の息子でねアジロシンペイという男の子を引き取ったんよアジロシンペイ She keeps having that,、uh, clearly knows the name. She keeps having these moments of like,、uh, Ajiro Shimpe, right? And she was holding the phone as well. So I'm thinking, is the, like, this message that she had from, like, the future from Shimpe somehow? I've, I've said this before, but, like, I do think that there is some sort of different,、uh, some sort of different. Time travel thing going on. Like, we haven't gotten there yet. But something is already happening behind the scenes. Hmm. So, she, she definitely knows something. Maybe I'm thinking too deep into this, thinking that she knows of some sort of time travel going on, but.、Mm. あんた
I suppose she just confirmed it, but like, I feel like maybe she checked something else. It's like, I mean, why, why would she doubt that and make a scene like this? I feel like maybe she checked something else as well. ひずる住所の電話番号も教えてくれへんのやもん。元気にしてた元気の定義にもよるが、私の心臓はまだ動いている。ほんま変わってへん。覚えてる牛屋ちゃんのこと。ああ、昨日のせいでね。私はいつも
And at the same time, you can see that they still care. Like those, though, like, <sighs> that's my favorite, basically. They're, they're badass, incompetent, but they still, you know, they haven't lost touch of, uh, of their emotions. Or with their emotions, I should say. I'm guessing this is still... This is still the same timeline. <sighs> you know, I talked about how the main character was fucking stupid. Oh my god. If this is what... If this is... Because, uh, okay, we saw... We saw that he, he had... He had talked to the girl before. We, we saw that. But we didn't see what he said exactly. If this... It, uh, there's no shot. You just went to these people. And you were like, ha, There's this thing called the shadow. And it might be hunting you. It's dangerous. Stay away. Have you ever thought that maybe... Maybe... That they're already shadows. And you've just outed yourself. You've just outed the fact that you know about them. Like, oh, oh my God, Jesus Christ. Okay, see now I'm a little confused, okay? Is this still the the timeline of uh, when we got to the festival? Because that's kind of what we were following before with uh, with with Hizuru or Nagume or whatever you want to call her, the, the hot chick. Or did we now jump to the next timeline, to the present time, I guess, of when we follow Chimpe? I'm assuming, because they're showing new things that we haven't seen before, I'm, sh I'm assuming that this is the present timeline. After the festival. Yep. He... <sighs> He, he, the fact that he, okay. <laughs> I don't want, like, every single time something like this happens, where someone makes a stupid decision, I'm like, why? Why are you doing this? I don't want to hate on you, show. Please stop doing stupid decisions, please. But I have to call it out coincidence that he just realized that they're both shadows basically he would have literally gotten caught no he basically did the moment he he mentioned the shadows to the shadows he got caught he just got insanely lucky that he saw a, he, that he just bowed and then looked down and there was a ant going over the shadow and it, it, it you know it, it was doing the thing like it's uh it's it's kind of like main character makes a stupid decision, makes a mistake, and then gets away with it because of coincidence, right? Like something coincidentally happens that makes him get away with it. I don't like that. If you make a mistake, you should live with the mistake, right? Like, especially in a story, you should not leave things up to coincidence. The best thing that should have happened is that he didn't mention the shadows to them at all. At this point, you know how to differentiate a shadow from real people. So, if you want to mention the shadows to someone, or talk about anything at all with someone, vital information like mentioning, oh, there's shadows going around killing people, even warning someone, oh, there, there's these shadows going around, right? Or, or just anything. 
even mentioning the shadows. Before doing that, you should 100% check whether or not they're a shadow. 100%, it's not even a question. But the fact that he didn't check them, and then mentioned shadows, and now it's like, oh no, I, I realized they're shadows too late. It's like, uh, like you didn't think to check before telling them critical information and putting suspicion on yourself. It's, it's those small things, right? It's the small things. It doesn't make sense for him to not check every person that he talks to. I would, I would be checking, not obviously, obviously, but if I could, if I wanted to talk to them about the shadows or mention the shadows at all, I would 100% try to step on the shadow first, just to make sure. <sighs> you know what's coming. You you know what's coming. A skip is coming. <sighs> I talked about this, obviously. You know, if you've seen if you if you've been following my reactions, <sighs> I already talked about this. It is unnecessary, completely unnecessary. It is stupid comedy added where it's not needed or wanted, and it's not even funny. It's like, why? Why are you doing this? We're having a great time dealing with a serious matter of people being killed and replaced, okay? We don't need a stupid comedy moment where main character is very distressed and stressed and 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 panicking, asking, oh, what panties were you wearing yesterday? Like, obviously, Mio doesn't know anything about the shadows at this point, so obviously she's gonna be like, oh my god, you pervert! Ah! And then slap him, and it's like... <sighs> Why? Like, like, this is not funny. It's not funny. What does it, what does it matter? If you want to check if this is a shadow, you can just do so. He's trying to figure out when Mio was copied. Still, I, I, I still, like, e even if there was a point to it, right? It, like, I still think it's stupid. I, I, I still think it's 100% stupid. What did he say? What did he say? Why? Why? Why why would he that's, that's like asking to be suspected by your enemy. I don't know. I don't know. の<笑> もしかして引ずるちゃうんやないひずるに連絡先聞いたらこんなもん渡されてよ。私には意味がさっぱりやねん。連絡先、南雲先生の。これは、すまない、心配。ちょっとトイレ。この暗号は南雲先生の漂着
I still think I I, I think uh, I think asking about the shadows is like saying, oh, we should look out for this guy. わしは What the shit? What happened to the other guy, though? Because the other... I guess the real one went in first. Oh, wait. Did she know that the real one was about to get killed? Is that it? But the question is, how did she know? He's gonna shoot the shadow on the ground. Okay. He just carries that around. No wonder. I, I was wondering what was in there. It's got to be the shotgun and uh, and the sledgehammer. And the, the, the fun thing about this is that we go through this the first time, right? And then probably the next time, he already knows where to find her, right? It's like the more information that he gains, the faster he's able to do things the next time. That's why information is so important, especially early on. ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっ
if if she can figure this out this easily if if Shinpei goes around saying everyone to everyone have you ever heard of shadows if you see a doppelganger they're gonna kill you man and and the shadows hear this and they see that you're going around telling everyone this then it's like you're you know they can they can also come to the same conclusion especially let's not forget right when we saw during the festival they were talking about oh that's mother's mother's uh, right eye uh you know the the eye that can control time or whatever right they can easily put this together and the moment that they do they're going to capture you and keep you alive somewhere where you can't interfere and you're fucked right that's why you don't go around bringing attention to yourself Makes sense. God damn it. I mean, obviously I want to see the next episode immediately, which I am going to watch after this, but uh, maybe the reason I, I like her so much, I mean, there's two big reasons i'm not gonna lie there's two very big reasons right <laughs> <coughs> there's two very big reasons but um basically you know one of the reasons is that she's just competent right i love competent characters people who think people who have a fucking brain she knows that there's no way he could have had the information thus there there, there has to be something go more going on the only way you could have known is if I told you myself, which I have not told you. Thus, the only way for you to know this information must have been that I have told you at some point, but I don't seem to remember. So it's either you're a time traveler or I've somehow forgotten, which is unlikely, considering that this morning when I met you, you didn't know me. But now you do, right? And I remember everything that happened today, which means that you must have time traveled or at least have that as a possibility right it, it's 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 just it feels so good to have a character that actually has a brain can't say the same for Shinpei, unfortunately at least not right now with him constantly making mistakes and alerting shadows of of his presence it is what it is i'm not going to talk too long because i you know i talked a lot during this episode but uh yeah i mean well we took out one of them and we did save we saved the guy taking a taking a taking a poopy yeah we saved this guy the real version of this guy i suppose the question now with that is that uh can they re like remake the shadow now that that shadow is killed can they have another shadow become him again if that makes sense although i am a little surprised um with the fact that they create the um they create the shadow clone before killing the original that's a little like i'm surprised they're doing that because th that's like very likely to get caught in any case i hope you enjoyed episode six of summertime render one of my favorite episodes so far i loved i loved getting to see um nagumo and seeing um that we kind of have allies right but yeah i will continue watching the next episode myself but i will see you guys next time whenever the next episode comes out when i'm done editing uh, you know it is what it is later bye <laughs>